What's up, guys? Uh, I am doing a Sox Fest 2015 recap. I'm, uh, last time I did, like, I separated in the days, but this time I'm just going to all throw in one big video. So I just want to start with the base cards. Uh, it was a really fun weekend. We got a lot, a lot done. Um, it was the 10-year anniversary from the World Series, so that brought a lot of uh, fun memories and the it was like it was one of the better years, even though it was sold out. But uh, we still did good. Got a lot of people in the lobby. It was a great time. So uh, let's just start with I got seven of Michael Johnson. This is the coolest one. Bowman Chrome, silver, no bubbles or smudges or anything. And then seven of seven of the regular Bowman base card. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Next, we got uh, Alexei Ramirez. He literally was probably the most interactive player with the fans and the whole thing. So uh, he was drinking at the bar, and then he came in through the doors during at the lobby and just said, form a line, and sat there and signed for everyone. Usually, in the past years, he would just run away and say all oh, later and then he never come back so uh tops heritage like how that came out add that to the tops heritage set this is one of my probably my favorite cards one of them uh alan and ginter it's a nice side card he's making a nice play the blue came out really nice and dark on that like how that came out um add to the set this one was a set card 2014 came out nice this was another card we just picked up same card two of two and uh Another Tops Heritage. Not bad. Next, we got Tyler Flowers. He was really cool, too. We got that one. That was, uh, I believe, that's the black one. This one was from the set. Came out pretty nice. And then this one, well, this one's from the 2014 set. That's the 2013 set. But uh, I liked how that came out. He was really cool. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, he has a, has a pretty good year. I want him to do good. So uh, next we got oh one more one more flowers, rookie card 2010 Allen and Ginter. I've been wanting to get this for years. I keep forgetting and it just pissed me off. Glad I got it out of the way. So uh, next we got Topps Heritage, a little set of Adam Eaton. He got a blue line there. I mean he had a few in him. It was at like 12 o'clock came in. But what are you gonna do? Then we got a rookie card Bowman Gold Adam Eaton. I liked how that came out. And another Bowman rookie card out of Meaton. We graph, we try to graph all the Diamondback cards we can just to get those out of the way, and then we can just work with the White Sox cards. But he wasn't as like last year. He was so much more interactive in signing, and this time yeah, he kind of blew a lot of people off. It was weird. Uh, next we got Connor Gillespie. He's like the silent assassin. I feel like uh, this is the 2014 set card. Glad I got that. He's uh, I think he's a good player. Great at defense, and uh, his bat's going to come around. He just, you know, needs some more time. Very shy, but nice guy. Uh, next, Tim Anderson, 135 of 200. Not a bad card. I wanted him to sign in silver, and he just grabbed the blue one and signed there. Uh, next, we got Gourney Hawkins. He reminds me of uh, Diane Vicieto, just built-wise. So maybe he'll get some time. Uh, Harold Baines, top 50-year anniversary card. Glad to get some heralds out of the way. Another one, blue. Kind of can't really see it that much, but uh, that's a cool card. Uh, next, we got uh, Sox. Picked him up in the winter. Five cards of Zach Duke. 3-3 three, three, upper deck. That's the first series card. Not as nice. And this came out. This is nice, too. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's at the end of his career. He's trying to you know, restart into a different pitcher and work, work away trying to be successful. 2009 tops, I believe. And... Another Zach Duke, 2008. I like the way he pitches, though. It's cool. Next is Jose Quintana. He was very interactive, signed a lot. Uh, he's really cool. Uh, he's a great pitcher. He should have had a better year than or win-wise. I mean, our bullpen blew it for him. He should be, yeah, he's ready to go this season. So we got 2013, I believe. There's one, two, or two. Signed it very nice. I love his autograph. Complete the set, 2014. Then this Bowman Chrome rookie card came out so nice. No uh, smudges or anything for a shiny card. 
I was a little worried about that, but uh, it was fine. And we just added three more 2014s. So, really like his autograph. Next, we got the closer we picked up for 46 million, four years. Uh, he's very excited to be in Chicago. Uh, and he's a really cool guy. David Robertson's got a sweet autograph. There's one, and there's two. And this one came out the best, I believe. 2013 Red Tops card. So that's sweet. Uh, next, we got Family Man, Jake Patrika. He's got some cool stuff, too. Rookie card set. I like him as a pitcher, too. He's supposed to, you know, he should have a good year. And Dan Jennings picked him up from Miami Marlins. Big Christ follower. Just signed him on the white base card. Inscribed Phil 4-6. And the mojo of the baseball cards has to be this rookie card. Jose Abreu. Signed perfectly. I uh, was really excited to get this, and uh, yeah, he's a great guy, especially for the way he plays the game. Um, that was the mojo of the current players. Now, well, that was the mojo, but that was the cards of the current players, and now just some uh, from the 2005 guys. This has to be the rarest one I got. It was Tahito Gucci. Uh, he signed small, but I mean, he's from across seas, and I don't think he's going to be back. Uh, people waited hours and hours in line, and I jumped five minutes before the seminar about the 05 team ended. Boom, jumped in, got that. Really happy for that. Um, next, John Garland. He was kind of a douche. I mean, I don't know. He didn't. He blew us off a lot, but whatever. Next was the one of my probably my second flight favorite, Aaron Rowan. He was so interactive and uh, oops, so interactive. With the players just having a good time enjoying the weekend really like him another john garland but i'm glad i got this at uh the old five world series set i got a lot to to go but uh, i'm like halfway there it's kind of hard to get the guys like Luis just guy you know and stuff like that but uh we're good then this aaron rowan came out sweet happy for that one happy for this jeff blum he actually signed two for me i don't think he's going to be around either so that was a uh, clutch to get to and now they're just flare tradition Aaron Rowan. So those were the cards. Next we'll do the balls. Um, I got six or so. All sweet spotted by pitchers, I believe. So uh, let's start with Jose Quintana. Came out really nice. Happy about that one. Uh, also, we picked up Jeff Samarja. Um, people were waiting. God knows how long for the lines. He signed two times, or I think he signed all three days. But, uh, yeah, people were hyping him up, waiting and stuff. So, uh, yeah, he, it was a pitching seminar. Again, walked in five minutes before it ended. Went by the corner, and uh, I was like 104 that got it signed. I got a nice blue lace. Uh, Justin Marja. I think that's like his like shorter version of his signature because I think it, it's longer. But he inspired 29 right there, and, you know, that's that's awesome. Saved me a lot of time, and I'm very glad I got that one. Uh, next is the draft pick from NC State, Carlos Rodon. I'm, I'm happy I got him sweet spotted, but he's kind of a douche. I saw him in the elevator, and he just blew us off. He's like, oh, not right now. I'm, like, talking, like, you know, with his shoulders out. Like, I mean, you haven't played an MLB game. I mean, I'm hoping he does good, but... I mean, he is very cocky. Uh, another sweet spot, David Robertson. This came out awesome. Blue pen, number 30. Um, yeah, I was really happy about that. He's a really chill guy, too. And this this was supposed to be the Rodon. But, uh, you know, blue lacing, Bobby Jenks. I'm not going to complain. Sweet spot of the White Sox 05 closer. But, uh, yeah. And then this is... Another big piece of this weekend. Uh, this is a really rare item too. But during the season, I picked up a game used Jose Abreu batting glove. Mizuno, that's what he wears. He even ripped it. He probably got out and just broke the crap out of it. But uh, yeah, so uh, we got this during the season. I brought it to him and I got it. I actually got it autographed right here. I told him about it. And I was like, yeah, this is your glove. And then he's like, no way. And he flipped it over and stuff. And yeah, sure enough, that was his glove. So that's pretty much my big mojo. But onto the pictures. 
We got a 8x10 Alexei Ramirez with Adam Eaton. That came out pretty cool. That's like his their, uh, win celebration, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got some hops. Next, we got the douchebag Carlos Rodon. Not going to complain, though. It, these are all 8x10s, by the way. T-Flow. Had this one for about a year. Glad I got that done. Jose Quintana. Uh, yeah, I, I like players who, you know, make their autograph bigger to fit or make the picture or whatever. They're getting signed better. So, yeah, that came out really, really nice. And then Eliseo Garcia. We got two pictures of him. Um, we originally got him, like, right here, but then we took it off and he signed in silver. I wanted him to sign there, but nothing you can do. And the other Abby, 8x10 pick. Um, yeah, so that's it. And the mojo for, oop, never mind. This is Dan Jennings. Just picked up a quick picture. He, uh, inscribed it to my brother. Then he also inscribed Phil 46. He's a very, he's a Christ follower, major one. But this is the mojo. 8x10, Jose Abreu. Signed it so nice. Glad I got that. So yeah, we, we did go with um, Abreu. But uh, now for the big... This this is my dude. So this is like probably one of my favorite things I've ever gotten. But this is his Game 2, Scott Pitsenik, Walk Off. Signed it right there. And then he also write Game 2, Walk Off. So he inscribed that, which was awesome. And I'm really happy I got that piece. And then this, this is a, let's move this out of the way. This is a game used Connor Gillespie. Uh, Marucci, it's got lizard skin. Uh, Connor Gillespie, I bought it for 35 bucks, not bad. Then I, uh, it was while waiting in line for him. And then I, it was a garage sale, bought it. And then I got it signed. Could have signed it better. He's one of those, like, he doesn't really think of stuff, but, uh, nothing you can do about that. And, uh, yeah, I was happy I got that. So, that's another cool thing. It says 63014 Marucci, but, yeah. So, that's basically our weekend. And, uh, yeah, they just made some huge off-season moves. Uh, I'm excited for the season. This I got a good feeling about it. It's uh, going to be a year to remember. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready for them to play, ready for summer. So, uh, ready for the season. Go White Sox. Let's go.